Welcome, and follow me as a Realme C30, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, to get started, you can see that the phone I have right here is locked, and to basically unlock it or finish up the uh, setup, I would need to verify either the pattern or Google account, at least in this case. For you, it might be pen or password, whatever it is, we can get rid of it. Now, unfortunately, Realme has the stupidest setup of all of them that I have ever seen, and that even surpasses the Samsungs where they force you to log into uh, Wi-Fi and then reboot the device for no effing reason. This one uh, just doesn't allow you to go back throughout the setup process. So once you connect to Wi-Fi and get to like the verification page, you can't get back out of here. There is nothing you can effing do to get back to the first page, which we need. It will always just kind of stay right effing here and then just go forward, completely disregarding what you're trying to do. Fantastic design, screw you. Anyway, uh, because of that, we will have to have like a couple minutes of our life wasted for no effing reason. So let's just get started with it. Number one, we'll need to power off the device and then we will need to factory reset it again. So let's hold power key and volume up. Once you see the Realme logo, let's go of the power key, keep holding volume up. And this will take us to, I believe, test mode or whatever that is. So using volume down, you want to scroll down to the last option. There we go. And then press volume up. So right now we can probably skip a couple minutes into the video just so we can save up time. Uh, there is nothing that will be happening. We just need to factory reset this damn device so we can get back to the first page of the setup. And once I'm there, I'll continue with the bypass. Okay, so as you can see, factory reset has now been finished and we're now back in the setup where we need to be. Now, there will be a little trick um, that we'll need to do, so progress just a little bit through the setup. Once you get to this page, you will need to connect to your mm, Wi-Fi network. Once you do, once you see that it is connected, immediately go back. So I'm gonna first sign in. connect it and I'm gonna back out I actually don't think it did connect never mind so let's there we go so it did connect right now you can see it based on this icon so back out to the first page once you see this next to your battery this is your Wi-Fi connection if you have this we're good to go if if you didn't connect correctly or maybe you typed in the wrong password try to get through uh, back to the Wi-Fi and uh, see if you can fix it up. But keep in mind that if you go past the Wi-Fi or if the device goes for you past the Wi-Fi connection, again, you will need to factory reset the device, probably. I haven't tested it out, but I think that's what will happen. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, now that we have our Wi-Fi and we're at the language selection page, I'm gonna click on this little guy, enable accessibility, and then tap on the blue text for you can also turn on uh, select to speak. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk back. Page one of five. Now I like to mute the talk back just because it's a little bit distracting to me, but it's not an not a requirement. So if it's not annoying you, you can keep it as it is. If it's annoying you, then mute it as I did. Now, once you have this page open, you want to draw a mirrored L on a screen like this. There we go. Took me two tries. Anyway, this will bring up this window, allow Android accessibility suit to record audio. Double tap on the first option. Then single tap use voice commands. And before you double tap on it, I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to say because this will be a voice, voice commanded activation. So number one, uh, once you press on it, it will start listening to you. You want to say open Google Assistant 
it'll accept a comment and then it will Google Assistant will start listening to you and you want to say open YouTube. I'm gonna go through it so you can see and hear how it's done. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. As you hear, there's three different beeps. Uh, one to listen to you, then one accepts, and then another one starts listening to you again. And then you should have your YouTube open. From here, hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Press. Select turn on, then double tap, and hold volume up and down once more. And we can now use our display normally. So here you wanna select account icon, settings, about, and Google privacy policy. Accept and continue and no thanks. This will open up our browser and in the browser you wanna tap right here and type in hard reset.info slash bypass. I'm gonna write it down myself. So if you need a moment to copy it once you see it, do pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. From here, you want to scroll down. Once you see the settings app, click on it. Then you want to select apps and notifications. Select seal 41 and then tap on the three dots and choose show system. Now, once you have your system apps visible as well, you want to start off by selecting Android setup. Choose for stop. OK, then go back and scroll down to Google Play Services. So there we go, Google Play Services. Click on it, disable app, and then for stop. And once you have done uh, this, we can now back out to the beginning of the setup of our phone. So just start pressing that back button. Now, because Google Play services is turned off, it gets really effing annoying. So let's just mute it because it is really distracting and back out fully. From here, you can now progress through the setup and give it a second. You will see that it just kind of bypasses the verification process though it's not just yet. Right here, I think we can select don't copy. So yeah, once you press on this, normally right here, after it checks for updates, it would show us that we need to verify the Google account or a pen pattern password. But as you can see, it just kind of skipped it. So right now, just choose whatever is quickest for you. The reason for right now selecting the quickest options is because the device is still locked and we just need to do one last thing to unlock it. But for that, we need to have access to our home screen. So once you have your home screen visible, navigate to settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and I won't be able to go through it because my battery life is below 30%. But normally uh, you just press erase all data once more. This will begin the factory reset of your phone, which in turn also removes any kind of protection that was set on your device. PIN, pattern, password, Google accounts, all will be removed. Uh, downside of this is it wastes a couple more minutes of your life and from there, it brings you back to the setup screen. But at that point, you can set up your phone however you like. It is fully unlocked, so you can do whatever you want with it. So with that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.